visiting our tutorials on Office 2016, the preview, we will be doing a 24-part tutorial. Uh, today we're going to start with part one. Um, I hope you, can, you enjoyed a little bit of uh, music that Camtasia provided for us. Uh, kind of jazzy, kind of get us in the mood. And we're going to get right into it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy part one of our Office 2016 tutorial. Thank you. Okay, and welcome back to Office 2016 Preview uh, Tutorials. Um, today we're going to be talking about themes. Um, themes are consistent among all uh, standard Office applications, um, with the exception of Access. So what we're going to do is we're going to go take a look at the themes and see how it changes um, the look and the feel of each of your Office 2016 applications. So right now I've got a copy of Excel um, 2016 open with an invoice I've done and um, uh, you can see that it's got a pretty white color to the theme. Um, available in the last version, 2013, we had uh, the background images and here you can see I've used geometry. It's got a kind of a uh, geometrical shapes. And it, but for themes, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, choose our file option. And um, that's going to bring us to this screen that we're all familiar with. Uh, from here, we're going to choose the options. And from options, we get the option dialog box for Excel options. And here's what's interesting is by choosing the option that we want for themes, here you can see office themes and it's chosen as white. I'm going to choose dark gray because it's going to give the um, most... Um, the contrast and the easiest to see the difference when we go ahead and look at the other applications. Uh, I'm choosing dark gray right now and I'm going to click OK and it's as simple as that and once you've done that you can see that a lot of the accent areas in Microsoft Excel 2016 are now dark gray. So it does take a little getting used to because some of the I know um, some of the areas in Excel that I'm very, very used to um, were a little harder to see once I turned them to dark gray. But now, to be honest with you, I love the dark gray um, theme. Um, we can also take a look at colorful real quick. So again, I go to File, Options, and I choose Office Theme to Colorful. And you can see how it can kind of look here. Now, now remember, if you're familiar with the Microsoft Office applications, especially the previous versions, you'll notice that Excel always has a green theme to it. Um, Outlook and Word have a blue theme to it. PowerPoint has a kind of a red, reddish, burnt theme to it. Um, so those colors are what transfer to the colorful look when you choose that theme. I'm going to go ahead and back and choose options, theme, under general, options, office theme, dark gray. And now what you'll see is when I choose the dark gray, um, again, my Excel goes to dark gray. But even more important, I hope you can see my toolbar on the bottom here. Um, if I open up uh, PowerPoint, you'll also notice that it's got a dark gray uh, theme to it. Then when I open up Microsoft Publisher, dark gray theme to it. When I open up Microsoft Word, dark gray theme to it. And finally, uh, if I open up Outlook, uh, the dark gray theme to it. Uh, they chose not to do it with Access. I'm not really sure why, but uh, I have some thoughts on that, but it really doesn't matter. Um, so Access remains the same color, but all the other Office applications that you're familiar with um, turn into the dark gray, even OneNote. Uh, OneNote with its purple hue, but the title bar and everything is a dark gray. So um, that is themes in a nutshell. Um, go ahead and practice it. It was a very simple tutorial. Again, it, this is an aesthetic change, not much change to the function of the software. But um, if you find that you like it, it's a, it's a, it's a nice and pleasant um, aesthetic change to the Office 2016 application. Thank you for visiting our tutorial. Keep coming back for more.